So we have, again, two sides that are equal. Yeah, congruent. Kind of it's a fancy word. shape word we use for equal. Yeah. This is x plus 30 degrees. And then this one down here is 2x degrees. So you set them equal to each other because we know what about these two angles? Um, they're congruent. They're congruent. They're going to yeah. be equal. Therefore, there must exist some x value. It could be 12. It could be 33. It could be 20. I don't know. I'm just going to guess right off the bat. This looks equal angular. So I'm just going to say it's 60, but that's just a guess. Okay, roughly 60. Roughly 60. So, so the angle is Should be. roughly 60 degrees. Should be roughly 60. So what would that mean about x in this case? x is uh, 30. x is 30. This is... Which already kind of roughly thirty. Yeah. So X is roughly thirty. Alright, we'll check our work at the end to see if yeah. that's reasonable. I love that's just that you're guess. taking a guess because yeah. it's gonna save you so many wrong answers in the future by being yeah. like, How the heck did I get that number? Yeah, I cannot exactly. be right. All right, but we can solve. <clears throat> well, because I always feel like they're gonna trick me too, so it's like I don't know. Um Okay, how do I solve okay, so I want could I okay so should I just get rid of that first, or should I get rid of it? <laughs> well, because well, there's... Okay, I should probably get rid of that X, so that I can have one number on one side. Right, exactly. Okay. When you say get rid of, another way of thinking that is you want to move your X's to one side. Okay, wait, so... Can, then you're not... Can I just flip it and be like 3X equals 30? If, if you wanted to that, come in and add... Because I always just like having the X on one side. If yeah, if you wanted to add an side. X over here... You could do that to make 3x. The only problem is you'd have to add an x over here to equal it out, and you'd actually end up with 2x on this side. Oh, uh, okay. So, so we, I don't know about adding an x, because like you said, well, we want to... Well, because well, I'm like, can't you just like transfer that x over? Does that we work? have to transfer it over intelligently. Like rewriting it, I mean? Like, does that work? Not, not quite. You're, okay. you're close. You're thinking the right things. Yeah. But this is back to algebra. We can't just magically move an x over. We have to be uh, purposeful about it. Yeah. By moving an x over, what we really mean is we want to cancel out the x on this side. Okay. Yeah. So if we have an x on this side, how can we cancel out that x? Remove its effect. Divide it by itself. If it was by itself, that could work. Right now, it's just added. We just have a x plus a 30. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to get rid of 30, what could you do? Divide. Or minus 30. You just minus 30. Yeah. If you want to get rid of X amount, you just get, minus X. You just minus X, right? So okay, just so go minus X on both. You do it to one side. I'm also going to rewrite this just so it's like aesthetically pleasing for me. Okay, the other direction, that's fine. Yeah. 30 oh, oops. plus X. Cool. Now we can start. Yeah. So, so minus X. And that minus will leave us with just 30 on this side plus 0. Yeah. But if you're going to subtract an x from this side, do it from the other side. You got to subtract it on this so side. So it's just as x. Well. So that's like two birds of sun's down. Like, let me get that deal with. So I was right. That was 30. Nice. Nice. Easy. Huh? Good, good guess. And then just to double check, what's 2 times 30? Uh, 60. And then what's 30 plus 30? Uh, 120. Uh, what's 30 plus 30? Oh, that's 60. 60. 60 and 60. That's good that we got yeah. equal answers here, right? Yeah. Okay, you can always plug your number back in to make sure it does equal. That's the thing. Not bad, huh? Yeah. All right.